Welcome to part 22 of the Autodesk Inventor 101 The Basic series. In this episode, we'll take a look at some of the basic sheet metal functionality inside of Inventor. After creating a new sheet metal part, create a simple 5x3 rectangle. Under the Sheet Metal tab, choose Face and click OK. This will make the start of our part. Now, instead of sketching and extruding additional features, use the flange feature from the Create panel. After selecting the front left edge of the rectangle, you'll see the preview of the first flange. The exact location of where the bend begins can be changed after selecting a different bend position option. You can also make the flange longer by increasing the height extents value. Lastly, you can change the angle that the flange extends at by changing the flange angle value. After clicking OK, repeat the process by selecting the front top edge. Notice how the flange repositions with the different bend positions and flange angle options. We'll create one last flange by selecting the front right edge. This time, let's make it bend in the negative Z direction. In order to do this, type in minus 90 to the flange angle and press OK. To get a better feel for the manufacturing process of your part, press the Create Flat Pattern button to see what the part should look like before the bends are made. Next, choose the Bend Order Annotation button in the Manage panel to understand what order the bends will be performed in. You can also create drawings based on your 3D sheet metal part. You'll notice that when you choose to create the base view of your part, your options are slightly different and you have to define what sheet metal view you're interested in using. Choosing Flat Pattern will give you the basic shapes before bends. After some quick dimensions, make a second drawing, this time choosing to use the folded metal base view. You'll now be able to use the projected function to create the other views of the folded geometry, which automatically captures the additional flange geometry. That's all there is to the basics of sheet metal in Autodesk Inventor.